Hello everyone. This is 3Z. Don't forget subscribe. Taj Mahal. On the right bank of the Yamuna River in the Indian city of Agra stands the Islamic ivory white marble mausoleum known as the Taj Mahal. The Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan had it built in 1631 and also used it to house his own tomb. Mumtaz Mahal was Shah Jahan's favorite wife. The mausoleum is the focal point of a 17 hectare, 42 acre, complex that also contains a mosque and a guest house. The complex is surrounded on three sides by a crenellated wall and is located in formal gardens. Although the mausoleum's construction was substantially finished in 1643, other project phases required a further 10 years of work. The Taj Mahal complex is thought to have been finished in its entirety in 1653 at an estimated cost of about 32 million rupees, which, in 2020, equates to roughly 70 billion rupees, about US $1 billion. A board of architects chaired by Ustad Ahmad Lahori, the emperor's court architect, oversaw the construction project, which employed some 20,000 workers. The Taj uses a variety of symbolism to depict the divine and the beauty of nature. In 1983, the Taj Mahal was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in recognition of its status as the gem of Muslim art in India and one of the most beloved works of art in human history. Many people believe it to be the finest example of Mughal architecture and a representation of India's long history. More over 6 million people visit the Taj Mahal each year, and it was chosen as one of the new seven wonders of the world, 2000 to 2007, in 2007. Architecture and Design The Taj Mahal builds on the design traditions of earlier Mughal and Indo-Islamic architecture. Successful Timurid and Mughal structures served as specific inspiration, including the Gri Amir, the tomb of Timur, the founder of the Mughal dynasty, and Samarkand, Humayun's tomb, which was the source of the Charbag Gardens and the site's Hashbihesht architecture, plan, Itmadudi tomb dollars, also known as the Baby Taj, and Shah Jahan's earlier Mughal structures were mostly made of red sandstone, but Shah Jahan encouraged the use of white marble that had semi-precious stones inlaid into it. Buildings he supported developed to unprecedented heights of sophistication. Tomb. The tomb serves as the focal point of the entire Taj Mahal complex. It is a sizable, white marble building with an iwan, an arc-shaped doorway, and a big dome and finial on top that stands on a square foundation. The fundamental components of this Mughal monument are of Indo-Islamic origin. The basic structure is a sizable multi-chambered cube with chamfered corners that forms an irregular eight-sided structure with four long sides that are roughly 55 meters, 180 feet, long each. Two similarly shaped arched balconies are stacked on either side of a massive pishtek or vaulted archway that frames either side of the Iwan. The chamfered corner portions also include this motif of stacked pishteks, making the design symmetrical on all four sides of the structure. The mausoleum is surrounded by four minarets, one at each corner of the plinth that faces the chamfered corners. Mumtaz Mahal and Shah Jahan's fictitious sarcophagi are located in the main chamber, while their actual tombs are down below. Eight Taj Mahal Mysteries It is practically impossible for first-time tourists to India to skip the Taj Mahal. The Agra Mausoleum is the most well-known structure in India and a wonderful haven for enduring love. The Taj Mahal was erected between 1632 and 1647 by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of Mumtaz Mahal, Jahan's favorite wife who passed away during childbirth. However, despite its fame as an iconic figure, much of its past remains a mystery. Here are some details about the marvel covered in marble that you might not be aware of. Optical illusions can be found everywhere. The Taj Mahal's designers and builders were masters of proportion and optical illusions. For instance, the Taj appears to be quite close and big when you first approach the main gate that frames it. Contrary to what you may anticipate, it gets smaller as you go closer. Although the minarets encircling the tomb seem to be standing properly, the towers actually protrude outward, which serves for both design and function, 
In addition to providing a disaster like an earthquake, the pillars fall from the crypt. The most famous myth is probably false. Shah Jahan reportedly fought tooth and nail for the mausoleum to be a magnificent work of art without comparison. Shah Jahan supposedly severed the hands of the craftsmen and chiseled out their eyes in order to ensure that no one could replicate the Taj Mahal's splendor. Despite the widespread occurrence of this horrifying tale, historians have not discovered any proof to back it up, though it does heighten the drama of the love tragedy. Both cenotaphs are empty. Mumtaz Mahal and Shah Jahan's cenotaphs are encased in an eight-sided chamber within the Taj Mahal that is embellished with hard stone, an inlay of semi-precious stones, as well as a marble lattice screen. The true sarcophagi, however, are located in a serene room at garden level. The stunning monuments are merely for display. It is, almost, perfectly symmetrical. The Taj Mahal, which was built with perfect symmetry in accordance with the fashion tenets of the time, is the height of Mughal architecture. The domed tomb is surrounded by minarets, and a center lake reflects the main structure. The mausoleum complex has a harmonious balance thanks to the division of the gardens, an earthly image of heaven, into quadrants and the twin red sandstone structures, a mosque facing east and a house facing west. There is one exception, though. The balance is removed by placing Shah Jahan's cenotaph in an unusual location west of the central axis. Many people think that he didn't want to be buried there because of the unusual location. The Taj gets regular facials. The Taj Mahal's brilliant white marble exterior has suffered damage from aging and pollution, turning a brownish-yellow color in Sudi environments. There is undoubtedly a spa day reserved for the monument. Specifically, the Multani Midi Maipak face. The Taj's flaws disappear and its luster returns after being treated with this traditional Indian remedy, which is applied and then scrubbed away with brushes. Change color throughout the day. Its constantly shifting color is one of the Taj Mahal's attractions. The mausoleum is changed by the sun from sunrise to dusk. It can be pearly gray and pastel pink in the early morning, brilliant white at midday, and orange bronze at dusk. The Taj could have a translucent blue appearance at night. For viewings of the full moon and eclipse, special tickets are also offered. A second Taj Mahal in black marble was planned. Do you recall where Shah Jahan's cenotaph ended up? According to local legend, Shah Jahan intended to construct a black marble Taj Mahal that would stand directly opposite the Taj Mahal across the Yamuna River, where he would be interred. After Shah Jahan was overthrown by his son, ironically, a son of Mumtaz Mahal, and imprisoned in the neighboring Agra fort, construction is claimed to have come to an end. This tale has also been rejected as folklore by certain scholars. It was as much a symbol of power as it was of love. According to reports, Shah Jahan was a more harsh leader than a romantic. The Taj was a source of propaganda despite its connections with ardor and devotion. The complex's meticulous symmetry represents ultimate authority and the pinnacle of Mughal rule. Moreover, Shah Jahan's rule was only made more glorious by its great scale and extravagance, crystal, lapis lazuli, makrana marble, turquoise. Garden the compound is built around a sizable charbag, or mobile garden, that is 300 meters, 980 feet, square. Each of the garden's four halves is divided into 16 sunken parterres, or flower beds, by raised paths. A high marble water tank with a reflecting pool situated on a north-south axis to reflect the image of the mausoleum is located in the middle of the garden halfway between the tomb and the doorway. Al Had Al Kathar, a reference to the tank of abundance given to Muhammad, is the name of the high marble water tank. The garden is designed with fountains and avenues of trees that are labeled with their common and scientific names. Babur, the first Mughal emperor, brought the Charbag Garden, a style influenced by Persian gardens, to India. It reflects the Paradise Garden, which is derived from the Persian Paradisa, which means walled garden, and symbolizes the four flowing rivers of Jana, Paradise. Paradise is depicted as a perfect landscape of plenty with four rivers flowing from a central spring or mountain, dividing the garden into the north, west, south, and east in mystic Islamic scriptures from the Mughal era. In the middle of the majority of Mughal charbags is a tomb or pavilion. 
The major component of the Taj Mahal garden, the mausoleum, is peculiarly situated at the garden's very end. The Archaeological Survey of India believes that the Yamuna River itself was included into the garden's design and was intended to be perceived as one of the rivers of paradise as a result of the discovery of Mathab Bagh, or Moonlight Garden, on the opposite side of the Yamuna. The Shalimar Gardens in this garden may have been created by the same architect, Ali Mardin, due to similarities in their architectural design and arrangement. Early descriptions of the garden mention how lush it was with fruit trees, roses, and daffodils in plenty. The Taj Mahal and its gardens deteriorated along with the Mughal Empire. The British Empire ruled over more than three-fifths of India by the turn of the 20th century, and it also took over control of the Taj Mahal. They made the landscaping more reminiscent of the formal lawns in London to their taste. 